I guess it's time to learn to drift. So today we are looking over the C5 from Camus. Camus? Camus. So they were nice enough to send one out and it's been a good month or so since that happened. But unfortunately the one they sent out first didn't work. And I think there was a mechanism error or something within the motor itself. So they had to resend one out. And now we have one and it is working absolutely fine. So we're gonna go over it, look at some build qualities, look at some functionalities, see who this is probably best for. If you're a sim racer or if you're just a casual driver, this is a direct drive wheel, my first ever, let me just tell you now. And the force feedback is insane. I didn't realize putting this thing to 100% power was gonna allow seven newton meters of torque straight into my hands. When I hit a wall, it felt like I was about to break my wrist and I had to turn it down, obviously. We're gonna go over that today and uh, we're gonna look at some different games that you can play with this and what it's compatible with. And they also sent out a set of pedals that come with the bundle, so go over those as well. We'll have like a little montage of the unboxing and the setup as well within this video so you can see that for yourself. Now with this steering wheel, you can have a gear shifter, but that comes separately. And I believe on their website, they don't actually sell gear shifters or handbrakes. I might be wrong, but I believe I saw something saying they don't do that only the wheels and the pedals. But the main thing that interests me about this direct drive wheel is how compact it is. It's super small, super versatile. You can have it in a desk setup like I have. You can have it in a rig, like a full on sim rig. You can set it up there, or you can have it in one of the coffee racers or even the fold away rigs, and it will fit in every single one of them, which is super handy for people that don't have a lot of space in their setup or in their house. It's nice to have the option to be able to you know put this away in such a small area and it not take up a lot of space that is mainly because the direct drive is inside the wheel itself it's not on the back like most camos have kept it very simplistic and they know the consumer when it comes to a device like this also being one of the cheapest direct drive wheels that you can get on the market today which makes it even more versatile for people that are on a low budget i just want to say again a massive thank you to camos for sending this out this is a non-biased review i say everything that i say in my own opinions and camos have no say on what i think so without further ado let's get into the unboxing montage so you can see what comes in the box and how to set it all up That was the setup of the steering wheel. I've plugged it all in and got it all ready. The pedals are very simplistic, as you saw. I love how minimalistic they look. They're not, you know, over the top. They haven't got these big springs and stuff, but you can attach those ones if you want to, to the steering wheel because they are independently plugged in. So with the steering wheel, you can plug the pedals directly into the wheelbase or you can plug the pedals directly into your PC and then the computer will pick up as two different options. Now with the steering wheel, it also comes up as two options. It comes up as the wheel and then the wheel base. The wheel base is the magnetic side where it's all the direct drive and things like that, where the main wheel is for the buttons, the steering and so forth. Turning this on, you've got the button on the back, you just click it once and then that shall do its little mechanism. So does this little 360 to tell you it's synced up and it's working. Okay, so before we start, let's go over the front panel here and the little build qualities we've got going on. So on the top here, you've got these LEDs, which are for your rev counter. So you can change these in the software, which we'll get into for different colors, and you can even set presets for that. And then underneath that is these three zeros on the screen that can be used for your speed in miles per hour, kilometers per hour, or even the gears that you're in. Then if you can use that as a rev counter, they might add that in software to come. I don't know. They are the only three options that you can use. Now underneath that, you've got this Camos logo and it is embedded within this sort of framed plastic sheet in here. And if you can see that, it looks like it's sort of a carbon fiber finish. Very nice detail in there and it feels fantastic as well. And then with the buttons, you've got on each top side here, two buttons each, and then on the left, a D-pad and on the right, A, C, B and D. And then in the middle, you've got these four buttons here on the left side, number two at the bottom and on the right side, number two there. And then at the bottom of the middle, you've got three different knobs here. And then the cool thing about these is you can actually set each click to be a different button or you can have it just as the right does one button and the left 
and the left does another button. So what I have, let's say on a set of Corsa, on the left one here, I have the right to turn my turbo up, the left to turn my turbo down. The middle one is to turn my traction up and then the left is to turn my traction off. And then the very right one is my ABS on and ABS off. And that's the good thing about this is there's so many customizable buttons. Everything here can be changed. So you don't have to then rely on having the keyboard. You can do it all from the steering wheel. So when it comes down to the actual build quality, fantastic feeling steering wheel. It is a flat base as you can see here. So drift Lifters. sometimes you know they, they don't tend to like having that flat base because they like to catch the wheel and if you catch it on that bit it does feel a bit weird but for me i'm obviously learning how to drift so there will be a series coming out of learning to drift on a direct drive wheel for the first time ever so uh, that's that's going to be fun for me uh, it has this nice orange strip in the middle to let you know that's a center so when you are calibrating it you can put it in the center and know right set that center and uh then when you use it, it will ping back there. Like I said, we'll get into the software in a moment. Just this is the overall front face and uh, just a general look at the steering wheel itself. On the software, you do have the option to change the rotation from loads of different settings like 900, 520. So at the minute, I believe it is at 900. You can also set the, the, the strength of when you hit the end, whether you want it to be soft, so it's smooth, medium, which this is, or hard. So when hard's on it, literally like, pings you back to tell you you've hit the end of the wheel uh, the wheelbase so that is a pretty cool feature on the back here you've got these nice little paddles they are very small as you can see you can't see them really behind the wheel they are there they are your the gear shifters again you can change these in games to have it as left indicator right indicator and things like that people have complained about these snapping for me i haven't found that they do that they do give you some spares in the box so clearly it is a thing but i haven't found this issue i pull them quite vigorously but for me it just hasn't snapped so i don't know what hulk's playing this game and just pulls it and snaps it out but either way just be careful other than that that is the main front face that is the the build itself i mean it's got a bit of flex in the wheel but i mean not enough for you to be able to bend that with your your bare hands that's the front of the wheel but now we're going to switch over to the back side okay so i've taken the camera off the tripod just to show you the back here so what you've got is your input here then a usb b i think that one is and then this one is for the fan that's in here just to keep this from overheating for me again i haven't found it to overheat and i've used it for like three hours plus on like heavy games no no issue there you get a button here which is your on and off and then a little reset button for me the reset button doesn't actually do anything. I don't know what that's meant to do, whether it's meant to reset the software, reset the steering wheel, whatever. For me, I haven't figured that one out. And then underneath you get these little clamps. They do come with normal metal rings here, but for me, I found it's easier just to actually make two little holes because now that is solid within my desk and I know exactly where the middle is for my steering wheel. It just fits back in these holes and it's secure. Okay, so now we're on the PC. It has been a couple of days because of technical issues with the camera, OBS, and the way the monitor is. Because the monitor is wide form, you know, OBS has to record it in this format. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to deal with the gameplay being like this at the moment. But we are just gonna go over some software, which is the Camos software here. So the steering wheel is off. The pedals are obviously connected to the PC, so they're always on. That's why it picks that up. When we go into the main menu here, as you can see, it picks up the pedals all the games down the side that are available through my Steam and the ones that are unavailable. So as you can see, we've got a top-down view of the steering wheel, all of it's plugged in, fan going in the back here just to keep the heat from there. And then you've got this side angle just so you can see me talking. So what we're gonna do is turn on the steering wheel from the back button here. As you can see, it will now pick up all of the different parts of the wheel. So you've got the wheelbase and the steering wheel. When you go into your parameters, you've got all your settings and on here you can create profiles or if you are connected or logged in, you can go on to recommended and it will come up with people's recommended. So like I've got mine here as a drift setup for a set of Corsa. And then you've got everyone else's as well. You can also go through by games. So again, like I say, drift setups for a set of Corsa. When you save a preset to share, you can have it to a certain game. So a lot of people find it easier. So I need to actually upload this version, but this is my new drift one because I didn't have the drift mode enabled and all the dampening. And then on game effects, the spring and stuff was a bit too much. So we've turned all that down and now it's got a bit more nicer feel to it when the, the wheel comes back. So what we're going to do is open up a set of Corsa. But before we do that, let's go through the rest of this software. So on devices, you have your two devices here. You've got your pedals, which will be at, which you can actually set your maximum throttle and brake. So say if I want my maximum throttle, if I push down to here, that feels quite maximum but I can actually go further. It's just I have to push down harder. So if I set that to maximum now, 
I now don't have to push down as much and it's already same with the break if I wanted that if I wanted a sharper break set that to maximum and now my break is a lot sharper uh, steering wheel obviously you've got all your axes and your buttons again you can change all these in game I wouldn't really mess around with anything here and then same on the dashboard you can change it for speed or gears you've got kmh or miles per hour as well uh, brightness of the little dial here on the front and then again with the knobs like i said before you can have left and middle and right to do either two keys or 12 individual keys which is crazy that is everything sound of steering wheel when you start up there's just the beeping and then you go into updates and you can update all your firmware and software you can even use beta if they have any available or you can manually download a version from previous updates. If you enjoyed that one better than the new update, you can flash back. If you want manual, you can literally flash firmware. Choose by going into here and finding the firmware that's which is previous to the one that you downloaded. But that is everything pretty much on here. We're going to open up a set of courses, but I'm actually going to open it up through the content manager i don't open it up through this so with content manager you can also change your steering wheel settings like you can in a set of Corsa. it is done through the same settings and it will link up to the game as well all my force feedback settings are pretty much standard i don't really change a lot of this so without further ado let's jump into a quick little drifter i don't normally uh wear gloves like this when i'm using steering wheel it's just because it adds to the effect of drifting as you can see the steering wheel is trying to kick back when it kicks out you can see the steering wheel pulling my arms because i'm actually no good at drifting i will be doing a series of learning to drift on a set of Corsa. but i mean for my first ever direct drive wheel this is by far one of the best oh, i'm going to take the headphones off because i can't actually hear myself talking so it's putting me off <laughs> but yeah so this is the c5 direct drive wheel and for the price that you're paying for this thing, I mean, it, it does pack a punch. So I believe this packs a punch of seven newton meters in torque, which is crazy for what you're paying for. I mean, the quality is outstanding. The the overall design looks fantastic for me. I think it's so unique having this such a small body compared to some of the bigger brands out there, oh, where, where they have this big bulky thing on the back where this is nice and nice and compact. So you can really use it on the desk or have it in a big sim rig, whatever you want. I love how in the force feedback you can change every small detail to the friction of the tires on the road compared to the grass. There's a, a very distinct difference when you are driving in different, like, like I can feel the rumble if that makes sense. It's, it's such a, a nice feeling. Another cool thing I like about this steering wheel is if the game doesn't have the spring mechanism built in, so for the force feedback it doesn't ping you out and spring back if you will you can turn that on within the software so if a game doesn't have that feature but it does have like rumble effects it's able to be able it's, it's able to be turned on so can you guys see why i want to start this little uh learning to drift challenge because i'm terrible bro so for this being my first direct drive wheel it's a complete difference coming from a non-direct drive i mean just having that feedback feeling like it's gonna break me arms i love it um i don't tend to have this on 100 percent force because i mean it is powerful i've turned it right down to like maybe 30. so my overall opinion so far i'm in love with the steering wheel i've played numerous amounts of games with it from euro truck simulator a set of Corsa, dirt 2 there is a few games out there that don't support this as of yet, which is unfortunate. So like the taxi simulators and things like that. But hopefully in the future, a lot more companies out there will start using. Because the steering wheel at this caliber, at this price, is a must have. If you're in the market for a sim rig, this is probably one of the best budget sim rigs that you can get your hands on. And I mean, for the price and quality that I have experienced myself as a first time direct drive shift, uh, first time direct drive wheel user, I can't fault it. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, that Mustang's hitting me in the back. I felt it. I felt that. That was so cool. <laughs> I felt the steering wheel like get a bit clipped at the back there. So we are in a GTR. Obviously, we have absolutely murked that Mustang. Even though Mustangs are one of my favorite cars, we just murked it. <laughs> control it. Control it. Oh, my God. Yo, the Mustang. This is why I need a direct drive wheel. You can just feel everything and I love it. The rumble in the road, the dodging through the traffic. Let's get back into our first person mode. We're gonna catch up with this uh, 
Is that a Ferrari up front? We're going to catch up with this thing. I can feel the rumbles in the road, the shaking as well. It just it gives you a feel of immersion. Yo, we just we just zoomed, zoomed past that guy. Oh, we're getting we're getting okay, 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 okay. So we're getting into a little little chase right now. I think them guys are going to absolutely annihilate me. To be fair, like they're they're gone, dude. They are gone. But I'm catching, I'm catching up. So yeah, I'm looking at doing some series on using this steering wheel as a first time direct drive wheel user, you know, just to show my experience. Why would he pull out on me? Why would he pull out on me? So just to show off my experience as being a first time direct drive user, I think that's a good way of really showing the progression that I've, you know, with something like this wheel and to demonstrate how even something at this budget can perform at some of the higher levels so the cool thing about this is you can actually change this on the fly now i'm in drift mode so that is why you know it feels very weird it should be at 540 we're going to apply that now so while you are mid game you can change this which is fantastic so now i have a bit more you know mobility around cars because i'm back into the street car i guess they class it as my overall thoughts this is for everyone it's not you know oh but it's a budget one it can't go in a racing sim this could absolutely go in a racing sim i don't care who you are or what you do this is definitely one that you know you shouldn't not be looking at if that makes sense it's got all the buttons all the features the paddles on the back feel nice i haven't had any issues with like with the paddles or anything like that so definitely, it's definitely one that I would personally go for if I was starting out, or even if I was an experienced racing simmer. Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Yo! Okay, that just happened. So yeah, look out for more content on my channel around the C5. Obviously, they have other wheels out there, which is like the C12, which is their newer version and things like that. But for me, this one is absolutely well worth the money. Um, and I'll leave it in the description if you want to go check out the price because the price can change depending on if they have any deals going on or things like that. So I'll leave that to you to go in the description to go check for yourself. You can use different pedals, different gear sticks and handbrakes and things like that. With, uh, and handbrakes with this wheel if you really want to. Ah! I love how it's got the lights at the top here as well. Just indicates when I should change gear. Obviously I know by the sound of the car anyway but... It's just nice to have that if you are not so keen on how car engines work and how they sound. You've got a bit of indication. You've got a bit of indication there as well. But yeah, I'm going to leave that video here. I think I've spoken enough about this steering wheel. Obviously, we'll speak about more of it when I get into the series of learning to drift or just racing in general with a direct drive wheel. But again, a massive thank you to Camos for sending this out and the pedals. I'm super, I'm super excited to get more content out about this. I'm a massive person that loves racing games things like this so I definitely will be looking forward to uh, creating more content for you guys and if you did enjoy this remember to leave a like <laughs> subscribe to the subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell because it does help the channel massively i'm growing in the future um a massive thank you as well for everyone that we've hit 15k i can't believe that's like we're slowly getting to the 100k which is massive for me so a huge thank you oi 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 damn it before I had you. <laughs> okay. But I had that. But anyway. Um, and also remember. Capture, create, captivate. And I'll see you all in the next video.